Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zimbiro. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at a new feature of Zim version Zim02. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And we'll find that feature. It's the first one here in the carousel, and it's called Connectors. So we've had connectors for a while in Zim, but you were given a node, and then you could make connections. However, there was no way for the creator to pre-make those connections. They could only give the end user the nodes, and the, the end user then would make the connections. Uh, so we do have a hierarchy, uh, hierarchy class in Zim, and we considered letting people or letting creators use the hierarchy class to specify a hierarchy of connections like this, but it would have been quite complicated um, to, to do that with locations. And then we had an idea. Let's let the creator make the connections, and all the while we will record those connections, and then the creator can run a command to get those steps. And uh, then all that data will be given to the creator. They can pass that back in to the connectors, and the connectors will start as connected. <laughs> Yay! So it's very much like the Zim blob and squiggle, where you can make a blob or a squiggle, then record the points, and then pass those points back into the blob or squiggle. In this case, we call these steps for the connector. So we'll see that. The other thing is these things called drop arrays. So we had always had the ability to tell uh, the connectors to connect in order. So if this were, well, it actually starts here. This is zero, one, two, three, et cetera. I'm not sure what the exact order is there, but you could always do them in order and that would allow us to, um, to do something like uh, join the dots. But there was no way to tell the connectors, here, let me just refresh this, no way to tell the connector that I can go either to here or here, but I can't go to there. And, and that's what the drop array right here is. So now I can't do that, I can't go over there. And if I'm here, I can't go to this one. But I can go to this one or that one, like so. Uh, now I can't, though, <laughs> because it's being done in series. So this is a puzzle where, uh-oh, I have lost because I, have, I, can't, I can't go any further um, than that. So uh, let's go in and take a look at those two features. Take a look at the code. So drop this down like that. Come on in. I'm using VS Code now. Over the break, switch to VS Code. It's been quite wonderful from Adam. Very happy with it so far for the most part. So we'll come on down here. Here's the, uh, the connector called Hierarchy. And we've done some formatting of it, but that's not terribly important. Here's our starting point. So we just have one point that we're going to start with. And there's where we've passed in the recorded steps. So there's all the recorded steps right there. So let's comment that out. So we won't have the steps to start and we'll bring in this button that we used where we are saying, hey, when we press the button, the hierarchy, that's our connector right here, uh, get steps true. So that's like a record points. We're getting the steps, passing in true, and that will pop up a little, um, a little window for us with all the data in it. So I'm going to say open a default browser here and there's the connectors with just the starting one connector there. And so let's draw some connections. Whoop. Mm, whoop. How does that look? And now we hit record. And here's the data for those connections. And we copy this. We come back into our connectors here and say steps. Are those steps right there? And now we save that and we refresh here. Refresh. Those steps have been recreated. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So that's super. That was very complicated to do um, because, for one thing, you can move steps around. Uh, there we go. And you can also delete steps. So if you click and hold, you can delete them. And so imagine that we're recording all of this stuff. We have to, each step of the way has to be recorded. And it was like, uh, very tricky to do. Very tricky indeed. A couple days of very, very hard coding. So 
treat it as experimental. I mean, there were a lot of things that went wrong. <laughs> a lot of things, a lot of things, two days worth of bugs. But in the end, I hope we got it. And um, certainly we have it for basic changes if you if you do 3000 undos i'm not sure <laughs> but hopefully hopefully we got it all right the other part then over here is uh we we actually use that technique because as you see here we've already got connections sort of um in place and then we have connectors over top of those connections so it's actually two more sets of connectors based on these blobs right here but then we made backing connectors right here that has a no mouse set. So we're not affecting that at all. We've just turned it off or we could have disabled it. But anyway, we, we built this on steps as well. And then here's our actual puzzle that we're letting the end user do live. There's all sorts of um, functionality that you can do with connectors. We've turned off the double clicking and the deleting and the full movement of it. So you can't drag the whole connectors. We've said that the drop type is on any of them and not single. So if you were going to, uh, because I can, um, I can move this to here, to the center, come back along, come back over, and then I can drop it on the center again. So if it were single, I couldn't drop it on there twice. But for our puzzle, we want to be able to drop it. Oh, I lost. We want to be able to drop it twice. The other thing is it needs to be continuous. So that means that it, we can't pick it up from any node. We have to pick it up from the last node that was made. And it uh, duplicate line is false. So once I get to here, the only solution I would have would be to duplicate a line and it's not letting me duplicate a line. So it's triggering a, a lose. So just down below here, we have a lose event. Um, doot, 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 doot. Puzzle.onConnection, here's the lose function. So puzzle.onBlocked, okay, there it is. So it's a blocked event. If it's blocked, we're calling the lose panel. Okay, uh, there it, ah, uh, we've turned the blocked off because <laughs> that's, that's interesting. So once you win, it's going to also be blocked because if you win, you hit the last one and it ends up being blocked. So we make sure that we turn the blocked off and then we uh, do the win the emit all right uh, let's see how do we know we won though i think let's see win is there a win somewhere oh here it is connections puzzles every time we do a connection ah okay so if we do a connection if that connection is the total number uh, we're asking how many connections have we done then we win so it's sort of like a manual win on the end of that puzzle Super. Is there anything that we needed to look at? Oh, yes, of course, The how, how that actually works. So now we get to the drop array right down below here. And what this is, is each of the nodes will has a specified other nodes that it can go to, and certain other nodes that it can be linked to. Why don't we turn this one on right here? So what this is, is uh, it will add a label next to each node. We're looping through each of the nodes in the puzzle. And we're adding a label and moving that next to the node. So we hit that, save, come back here, refresh. So this middle one is the zero node. That's the one node, two node, three node, and four node. So we're basically saying zero can go to all other nodes one can go to these three nodes, zero, two, or four. Two can only go to zero or one, can't go to three or four, etc. So let's have a look. The first node, zero, can go to all of them. The second can go zero, two, and four. And the uh, node two, or zero, one, two, can only go to zero and one. This node can only go to zero and one. So if I pick up here, I can't go to three can't go to four. I can go to one. Okay. Or I could have gone to zero. Okay. So both those are acceptable, but not the others. From here, I can go to any. From three, I can't go back to two. I can't go to one. I can only go to zero or four. And that worked. I couldn't have gone to zero because it already has a line there. Okay. So that's, that's the idea. 
Cool, huh? And thank you, Divya, one of my students, uh, for having a spider puzzle that was like this and wanted to use the connectors for it. So we had to say, oh, okay, maybe we can implement some things uh, to allow that to happen. And so we did. That's great. And let me just uncomment that. And how about we'll undo this. We're good there. Brought in the lines already. I showed you the lines, didn't I? Oh, are those the short lines? Oh, those are the short lines. Uh oh, undo, undo, undo. You don't need to see this. Just to bring us back to where we were. There's many connectors, yes? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's been connectors. You can find information about that in the docs as well, too. So if we go to the docs here and type in connect, there's connectors. Here are the steps where we're receiving, and somewhere in here as well will be our duplicate delete. Uh, let's have a look. What are they called for our drop index? Ah, there it is, drop array, drop type. Okay, the drop array, drop type, and there's our apply steps and get steps as well. So you can read about those and see how they are done. It's very exciting. Yay! And this has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. You're welcome to come and join us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack, and uh, ask any questions. Uh, make any requests, um, and we'd be happy to help. See you there. Cheers. <laughs>